Hello everyone I am Saloni and welcome back to Codera So in the last video we had discussed the remaining 10 technical question for the Infosys interview preparation So guys I have already created two videos for technical interview questions and if you didn't watch that videos so please first watch them and it will really helpful in your preparation So today we will discuss top 12 HR interview question which are frequently asked not only in the Infosys but also in many other companies and guys really these are very important question Now our first question is tell me about yourself So I have already discussed this question in the previous video but if you didn't watch that video so here again I will tell you how to answer this question So first thing is never memorize the answer as this question is asked by the interviewer because he wanted to know about you who you are and what knowledge you have so this should be like a conversation so please don't memorize your introduction so your answer should be in a proper sequence you can give your answer in form of timeline so you can start from your personal introduction like from where you are and you can also tell him about your family and then tell him about your education after that tell him about your projects that you have done in your graduation and then the technical knowledge you have and in last you can share your achievements and your other interest and please remember one thing always tell the truth in your introduction so that if the interviewer ask you something from your introduction part then you can you will be able to answer those questions And one more important thing is don't give a very long answer for this question. So your answer should be brief and properly communicated. So our next question is tell me about your family. So if you didn't mention anything about your family in your introduction then he may ask you this question. So you can tell him the name and the profession of your father, mother and the siblings. And if is there any other special thing about your family so you can also mention it. For example someone in your family do some social work so mention this thing it will create a positive impact on an interviewer now our next question is what are your hobbies or he can ask you that what do you do in your free time so here interviewer wanted to know that how you use your free time so i would suggest you to mention your real hobbies which you really like to do in your free time instead of telling him the fake hobbies just to impress him because the interviewer can ask you the further question related to your hobby for example your hobby is singing so he may ask you who is your favorite singer and why or he can ask you like what is your favorite song and who is the singer so this is how you can prepare this question now our next question is how did you spend your lockdown So after the lockdown this question is being asked by many interviewer because they wanted to know how you deal with this type of situation and how well you utilize this long period of time so here you should mention those things that make some positive changes in your and your family's life during this lockdown so you can also tell him the problems that you have faced during this lockdown and how you successfully solved this problem So the answer of this question will tell the interviewer about your time management skills and the problem solving skill. So this is how you can prepare this question. So our next question is why do you want to join Infosys? So I would suggest you that before the interview of any company you must have the knowledge about the company like what actually the company do or who is the CEO of that company. So here in this question you can mention about the good qualities and work culture of the organization and mention those thing which make the company different from others so ultimately here you have to praise the organization now let's see our next question which is why we should hire you so basically here you have to represent your skills you can mention your technical skills and other skills which matches with the job description and here you can also mention your achievements so ultimately you have to make them realize that you are the candidate who can fulfill their requirement now the next question is very easy that is are you ready to relocate so here you can answer in yes or no according to your preference and the next question is what are the difficulties you face in your project 
सो गाइज इट हैपन समाइम दैट दे मे आस्क यू फ्यू टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन इन एच आर इंटरव्यूज ऑल्सो नाउ लेट सी अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज वॉट वर द डिफिकल्टीज यू फेस इन योर प्रोजेक्ट so the intention behind asking this question is that the interviewer wants to know about your problem solving skills so mention only those problem or difficulties which you have faced in your project and successfully solve them so first you tell him about the difficulties and then explain what approaches you used to solve those problems or difficulties and if you worked in a team then don't forget to mention about the team members in problem solving so by doing that you are telling the interviewer that you are also a team player so it will be very beneficial for you so our next question is will you be comfortable in working on any technology so here i would suggest you to say yes to this question because they wanted to know that you are flexible person or you just stick with one technology so here you have to show them that you are a, you are excited to learn new technologies and comfortable in working with different technologies and guys if you are in it industry then you should be ready to learn new things so in my opinion the answer for this question should be yes now our next question is what are your strength so mention your strength which are related to the job profile or somehow your strength is beneficial for the company's growth like you can tell them team work adaptable quick learner as your strength and also you have to give them some example to show that how you use your strength to achieve your goals so guys our next question is do you have any plan for higher studies so here interviewer wanted to know your future plans and guys all the firm want such employees who will work for a long time so if your answer is no then it's good so in this case you can say like i have no plan for further studies because i wanted to gain some experience and want to apply my learning and skills and suppose your answer is yes so don't worry you can tell them like currently i have no plan for the higher studies but after some year for my career growth i may go for further studies so this is how you can answer this question now our last question is do you have any question for me so guys don't miss this opportunity because most of the candidates say no i don't have any question but you should ask question because it shows that you cares about the organization so you can ask one or two question that are focused on the organization so you can ask like what are the goal the company has for the next year so it shows that you are planning to work for a long time with the firm or you can ask the question related to your job role so you can ask if i selected for the role then what could i do in this role to help you achieve your vision it shows that you are really interested in joining the company so this is how you can answer this question so guys that's all about today's video i hope this video will help you in your interview preparation and if any of my video helps you for getting selected then please drop a comment in the comment box it will motivate me a lot to upload more videos so guys please share this video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching